In this video, we're going to see a theorem that tells us there are actually only three possible types of sets of values of, of um, x for which a power series is convergent. So we saw in our previous um, video three examples where we had three different types of interval, intervals that arose. We saw a case where um, all values of x would make the series converge, so our interval is from negative infinity to infinity. We saw a case where it only converged at the center. Um, and we saw a case where it converged in a certain interval around the center. Um, and it turns out that those are actually the only three possible types of sets that we can get. Um, it's not going to be possible to have um, an interval of convergence that consists of some part that's over here and some part that's over here. Um, that's not going to be possible. We're either going to have the whole number line, just a point, or an interval around that center point. Okay, so this theorem is going to summarize those possibilities. So notice that for a given power series in general, that would be centered at A, okay, we can have three different things that happen in terms of where the series converges. The first thing is that the series converges only at the center, okay, only when x equals a, and we saw a case where this happened before, so that's just at the center, and we would say for our radius of convergence, r equals 0, okay, and for the interval of convergence, just the point a. Okay, we just have a here. Okay, so what else can happen? The series could converge for all x, is the second possibility. Okay, converges for all x, so we have this idea that we have our number line, we have a, and it's everywhere along the number line that our series converges. So we say that our radius of convergence is r equals infinity, and the interval of convergence is negative infinity to infinity. Okay, so those are the two um, simplest cases, just the center or everything. And then we have the third possibility, which could be just an interval around A. Okay, so this one um, we have to state a little bit differently because there's actually several different interval possibilities for around A, depending on whether you're going to include the endpoints of that interval or not. Okay, so the way this third possibility is phrased is it says there is a positive number r. Okay, so r is not 0 or infinity, r is something between 0 and infinity. such that the series converges, okay, if x minus a is less than r and diverges if x minus a is bigger than r. Okay, what's this saying? So this x minus a less than r is saying the distance between um, x in the center is less than r. So that's telling us that we have this interval here from a plus r or from a minus r up to a plus r and that the radius here is r. Okay, so we would say that the radius of convergence okay, is r, r equals some number but the interval of convergence, okay, could be one of four possibilities. Okay, so we would do be able to do the ratio test, for example, to find r, but then we need some additional um, testing of what happens at the endpoints to determine whether those should be included. So the interval could be from a minus r to a plus r, not including either of the endpoints, or it could not include the left one, but include the right one, or it could include the left one, but not the right one, 
or it could include both the left and the right. Okay, so this third case is probably what we'll see um, most often, but occasionally, you know, sometimes the, we'll, the other cases will come up in examples that we'll do and in examples in your homework. Um, but this one's obviously the most involved. You'll have to do some work to figure out the radius, and then you'll have to do some additional work to figure out which of these um, types of intervals you have. Are you including your endpoints, one, the other, both, um, in terms of your final interval? Okay, so the way that this, this will work is we'll use the ratio test, maybe rarely the root test, typically the ratio test, um, to find R. Okay, remember that the ratio test and root test are um, inconclusive when you would get that limit value to be 1. That case where the limit value equals 1 so it corresponds to what we would get happening at the endpoints. Okay, so we have to use a different test other than the ratio root test um, to test convergence at those endpoints separately. So then test convergence um, at the endpoints separately. Okay, so in a, um, many power series type problems, We'll do, do excuse me. We we'll, we will do the ratio test to find R, and then we'll do two additional tests on the endpoints. So we'll do a test to determine what's happening um, in our series in terms of whether it converges or diverges at at um, x equals a minus R, and we'll see what happens in terms of convergence or divergence when x equals a plus R. Okay, so so to see an example of this last more involved type, um, go ahead and watch the next video lecture.